we're going to have to change our mics coming in here. Why? He's just getting on my tits now. How about if we meet up on Tuesdays? I can't. Tuesday evening is when I categorise my collection of bus tickets. And I can't. That's the night I bath fluffy. Oh, stop taking the wee wee. Oh, bollocks, here he comes. All right, lads. I'll see you back in your normal places this week. Yeah, we did try hiding on the roof, but our points kept sliding off. Sports which they used to show on terrestrial TV but don't do so anymore. What do you mean? Well, things like Australian rules football, Gaelic football. Oh, and what was the one where they played with hockey sticks? It wouldn't have been hockey by any chance. There is an old Chinese saying, sod off. <laughs> really? That's amazing because we have the same saying in English. <laughs> I think you're referring to the game of hurling. Ah, that's it. It looked a very vicious game to me. There was one I used to enjoy watching, sumo wrestling. Oh, that was good. The size of some of those blokes. Wow. Sumo wrestling? Hadn't that used to be on the television? They used to show it on Channel 4. Back in the 1990s. I didn't know that. Well, perhaps you were on there. And we didn't realise it at the time. I may have been. I used to be a sumo wrestler. I was very popular. Oh, please tell me he's joking. No, it's true. Look, here's a picture of me. I don't believe this. Which one are you then? The one with his back to us, or the one that looks like he's letting out one almighty fart? Uh, the one with his back to us. I wouldn't break wind in front of other people. He looks nothing like you. Well, of course, I was a lot bigger in those days. So what weight were you at your heaviest? Oh, I was um, probably about 50 stone. Well, you've certainly lost a lot of weight since then. Ah, uh, I went on a diet. How long for? About a month or so. So what name did you fight under? Nor could make suggestions. How do you mean? Many sumo fighters used to fight using a nickname. I remember one massive bloke fought under the name of Dumper Truck. Oh, oh they just used to call me Steve. Did you fight against any of the famous wrestlers? Oh, yes. Well, like who? Um, uh, 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 there, was, there was a man called um, um, Tang. Uh, and there was another one um, called Ming. Those are Chinese names. In fact, they were Chinese dynasties. Uh, well, yes, I know, but they were good fighters. But isn't sumo a Japanese sport? Well, normally, yes. But they used to have people from other countries. That's right. I remember seeing some pygmies from Africa on there. <laughs> so why did you give it up? Well, they didn't have any fish and chips in Japan, and I was missing them, because they're on the list of my four favourite meals. What a tragic loss to the sport. Well, all I can say is that you must have been very brave. Oh, I was. I'd fight anyone. No, what I meant was, you must have been very brave to have your balls cut off. What? They cut off the balls of sumo wrestlers. It's to help them put on weight. And also because there wouldn't be room for their balls in that small pouch they wear. And to show the wrestlers bravery. It's all done without an anaesthetic. Ouch! It must be terrible having to go through life without any balls. Uh, um, 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 no, no, they grow back. You what? They grow back. Mine have. Sorry, Steve, but once they've gone, they've gone. Do you know something, Steve? I reckon you're telling porkies. Um, uh, no. 
I reckon you never were a sumo wrestler. I was. I've shown you the picture. And also, if your balls have grown back, how come the medical world has not heard of this incredible phenomenon? Um... Well, come on, get your tackle out. Let's have a look at these wonders of nature. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, oh, is that the time already? I'll have to go. I've got to um, uh, um, change the duvet cover on the bed. Wank stain from your new balls? Um, um, uh, anyway, I, I won't be seeing you for a week or so. I'm going to stay with my friend John in Burnley. We're going to have days out. It's going to be real fun. Bye, lads. Yep, sayonara, Steve. Oh, brilliant. We won't have to put up with him for at least a week. There is a god after all. Anyway, Paul, it's your round. Champagne to celebrate. <laughs> I am the living proof of the love that